السلام عليكم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين السلام عليكم نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما وعملا صالحا يقلبنا إليك آمين وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته أم أوكي أه وات أر وي دوينغ ويتش بوك أر وي دوينغ Listen and speaking. The yes, unit yes. Uh, four. We take. I'm uh, Sam's. Listening. Can come. La sah. Can come. Can come. We will continue uh, listening and speak. Uh, uh, unit four. Inshallah. Listening and speaking unit. Okay, so you're reading and writing, uh, listening and speaking book one. Uh, we got to page 80, yes? Okay, so quick recap. Last lesson we were looking at, uh, we started the unit last uh, yesterday, looking at uh, physiology. Uh, or unit question about body language uh, and how we can use body language. We took the vocab, we looked at the vocabulary and we said that professional is doing something for money or as a job, understand is to know what something means or why it happens. Debate is a formal, a, a sort of discussion, yeah, whether it's formal or informal, uh, but it's a discussion uh, on, on a topic. Wrong is something which is not correct. Imagine is to make a picture in your mind. Communicate was to talk to people. Calm is something when you're relaxed. Emotions are your feelings. Facial expression is the look on your face. And describe was to explain. Uh, then, we, then we took the listening. Yeah, we, did the, we listened to the conversation uh, between two people. Um, um, there could be classmates you know, studying in the same class and they both have a project. One of their projects was about, one of them, their project was about smiling. And the other one, his project was, what was his project, the other one? I can't remember. Yeah, there were two people talking about uh, the effect of smiling um, on us. Okay, then we took then we, then we took some of the questions for that, the comprehension questions. And we are now on page 80. Okay, so can everyone open to page 80, please? Which book? Uh, uh, listening and speaking. Listening and speaking, page 80. Uh, would someone like to read this? Uh, we are listening for specific information. I picked up. <clears throat> Is it? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, listening for uh, speak for, uh, speak specific. For specific information. Uh, mean is uh, listening for the important uh, details. Uh, you need to lis listen for uh, specific information uh, is uh, special, uh, when uh, we... Especially, especially. Especially when we uh, listen uh, to news or uh, uh, others. Other uh, sport, uh, transport, transportation. Uh, what's that word, doctor? Uh, schedules. Yeah, so weather reports, transportation. Uh, schedules. Uh, transportation schedule and uh, inst instruction. Uh, specific information. Let's uh, define. Such as uh, these, uh, name, one, name of people or place, 
to uh, numbers uh, data or type uh, dates the, numbers dates dates or type uh, see the unit three uh, listening skills page uh, 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 57 uh, events okay uh, thank you Yazid uh, so here we're listening for specific information listening for something in particular um okay so we have uh, so because there's different the same with reading yeah you know how when you had reading we had a preview yeah you had the preview when you're reading you also have the skimming yeah we also looked at skimming um we also uh, and there's another thing called scanning yeah when it comes to yeah, when it comes to reading there's also something called scanning um, and this listening for specific information is the equivalent of scanning. Okay, when it comes to reading, you will scan for, so, uh, so if, if the question said, um, what percentage of people, uh, so imagine the same, same listening that we listened to about uh, men and women, uh, about smiling. If it said, what percentage of people smile in the workplace? Or how, how often do we smile in the workplace? Okay, so that now we're going to look for a number yeah, because we are, we're saying how often. Yeah, so we know it's going to be uh, some sort of number. Uh, if the question said who, who did such and such or who said uh, such and such thing, we're going to listen for a name. Yeah, um, or, we'll, or if it's a reading, you will look for the name or look for the, uh, the number. So listening for specific information is the equivalent of scanning when it comes to reading. Yeah, so scanning for something and listening for specific information. So if you know what the question is, or if you yourself, maybe there's no question, but you yourself want to find information, um, you may look for a specific name. Yeah, it could be some sort of number or date or time that you look, you're looking at, or some sort of event. Yeah? So depending on the question. So for example, in, in, in the, in the exam, if there's a question, so this won't be for, not for the listening because there's no listening in the exam, for, for scanning. Uh, you'll have a reading and then the, one of the questions might go back to the reading. Yeah, so saying who did this or when did they do this um, or where, where did this happen? Yeah, so you look for a name or a number. Okay, let's go to activity A. Activity A says, identify, read the information below, then listen to the conversation again and write the missing information. So here we have when. Okay, when does she have to finish the report? So when Minhi has to finish her report? We're looking for a, uh, what are we looking for here? Is it a name? Is it a number or a time or a date? What do we think? Are we looking for a name? With when? Yeah, name. Maybe numbers. It's it's not. It, are we looking? For, it's not a name. It can't be a name. When will be more like a number or a time? Okay, you listen for a time. So how long she has? Yeah, some sort of number. Who? Smiles more often, men or women. We're listening for a, uh, a name. Yeah. Name. Uh, name. Some, uh, something. Yeah, sorry. Uh, who? Uh, a good person. A person. Four person. Yeah, four yeah person. so who? Excellent. So who's for a person? So as soon as you know the question says who smiles, you listen for a person. How many times? What are we listening for? How many times a, a day? A number. How many yeah. times? Yeah, in a day, a person is smiling. We're looking for a number. Where Ivan works? Evans. Place. 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 Center of people. The percentage of people. Yeah, who say they smile more than 20 times a day. We're looking for what's percentage? Yeah, 
Anyone know percentage? Nope. Have you ever seen this? Oh, yeah. Percent. 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 Hundred percent. You, there's no, you don't have a word in Arabic, do you? You just say something min mia. Okay, nisba mia wia. Okay, so percentage. We'll listen, nisba listen nisba for again. Yeah, for a number, yes? Uh, yes. Again, the percentage of people who feel nervous about speaking. So just listen for these things yeah, and write down the correct answers. Unit four, listening skill, activity A. Are you almost finished with your report, Minhi? Not yet. I have to finish it by this Friday. I'm doing research now. I can see you're working hard. What's the report about? It's about the science of facial expressions. For example, smiling. I'm studying why we smile and what it means when we smile. The science of facial expressions. Interesting. Don't we just smile when we think something is funny? Not just that. A smile can have many meanings. It's an important way that we communicate without words. A smile shows we are friendly. It helps us make connections with others. That makes sense. I like people who smile a lot. <laughs> well, research shows that women smile more often than men. And a happy person smiles about 40 to 50 times a day. I know smiling is important in professional situations. I work at the Central Hotel. My boss says that a smile should be the first thing our customers see. Well, 28% of people say they smile more than 20 times in a day at work. I'm sure I smile more than that. Can you imagine being unable to smile? No way. So, what's the topic of your report, Ivan? It's about how we express our opinions and ideas when we're speaking, especially when it's something that people disagree about. That sounds really interesting. I think so. For example, when we have a discussion or a debate about an important topic, we sometimes feel strong emotions. Yes, that's true. When other people don't understand or agree with our ideas, we may feel a little angry. Right. And during a discussion, when we express these emotions with our facial expressions or body language, it can send the wrong message. It's bad for communication. Interesting. I know a lot of people feel nervous when they speak, too. That's true. About 75% of people feel nervous about speaking. My report describes ways we can stay calm and use our faces, our bodies, and our voices to communicate our ideas more clearly. Wow. I really want to read that. Can you repeat it again? Uh, again, doctor. Again? Okay. Then you're, remember, you're listening for specific information, yeah? So you know you listen for when, who, how many times, where, and numbers, yeah? Percentage. Unit 4. Listening skill. Activity A. Are you almost finished with your report, Minhi? Not yet. I have to finish it by this Friday. I'm doing research now. I can see you're working hard. What's the report about? It's about the science of facial expressions. For example, smiling. I'm studying why we smile and what it means when we smile. The science of facial expressions. Interesting. Don't we just smile when we think something is funny? Not just that. A smile can have many meanings. It's an important way that we communicate without words. A smile shows we are friendly. It helps us make connections with others. That makes sense. I like people who smile a lot. <laughs> well, research shows that women smile more often than men, and a happy person smiles about 40 to 50 times a day. I know smiling is important in professional situations. I work at the Central Hotel. My boss says that a smile should be the first thing our customers see. Well, 28% of people say they smile more than 20 times in a day at work. I'm sure I smile more than that. Can you imagine being unable to smile? No way. So, what's the topic of your report, Ivan? It's about how we express our opinions and ideas when we're speaking, 
especially when it's something that people disagree about. That sounds really interesting. I think so. For example, when we have a discussion or a debate about an important topic, we sometimes feel strong emotions. Yes, that's true. When other people don't understand or agree with our ideas, we may feel a little angry. Right. And during a discussion, when we express these emotions with our facial expressions or body language, it can send the wrong message. It's bad for communication. Interesting. I know a lot of people feel nervous when they speak, too. That's true. About 75% of people feel nervous about speaking. My report describes ways we can stay calm and use our faces, our bodies, and our voices to communicate our ideas more clearly. Wow, I really want to read that. Um, okay, let's, let's take some answers. Uh, read. Uh, uh, number one, uh, when uh, he has uh, to finish, uh, I think... Uh, Oh, he uh, say uh, Friday. Uh, by when? Uh, Friday. By Friday, good. Friday. So. Yeah, everyone agrees? By Friday? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah by Friday. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Ablaziz? Uh, the, who smiles more often? Women or men? Uh, it's women. Mm -hmm. It's women yeah. uh, smiles more, yeah. Women's it is smiles or smile? Smile. Smile. Why is it smile and not smiles? Because, because it's not because uh, it's one one uh, woman. It's more yeah. than two. Okay, because good. Yeah. Woman. Yeah, because women is plural. Yeah, the word women is plural. What and what's a singular? What's a singular for, for women? A woman. woman, woman with an A. Good. Yeah. So woman smiles, but women smile. Uh, okay. Good. Uh, Abdullah uh, Al Okay. Uh, how many times a day uh, a happy person smiles? Uh, Forty or uh, fifty days. Forty or fifty days. Yes. Uh, yeah, is that correct? 40 or 50 days? Yes, I think it's two. No, no, it's just uh, times. Four. Uh, 40 50. 50 times. without days. I think. Uh, we are on page 80. Yeah, page 80. Uh, you can see the page number at the top here 40 to uh, 50 days. 40 to 50 days? Uh, yeah, a day. Yes, yeah. Someone else said something different. In the what one day, between or one day? 40 or 50 the day, times? The day. I think for uh, 24. Okay, so the answer is 40 to 50. I will say the answer is 40 to 50. Yeah, 40. In the day. 50. Yeah. Okay, so 40 to 50. But what's the difference between saying 40 to 50 uh, days? And I think, was it Abdullah? He just said, uh, some, maybe someone else. Yeah, maybe Abdullah Abdul I think. Times yeah, a day. Yeah. Yes. What's the difference? That means uh, how hours. How long? Uh, how much smile? How much? Yeah. If, 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 if we said uh, uh, days, that means 24 hours. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So forty to fifty days means in, in Arabic way is that a lot of days. I think it's a lot, a lot of days. But uh, if you say forty to fifty uh, in the day, it mean uh, uh, in the twenty four hours you smile for uh, forty to fifty uh, uh, smile. Yeah, yes. 40, 50, okay, good. Yeah, so if you're saying times a day, we're talking about one day. Yeah, in one day, how many times, how many, how many, uh, you, could say, you just said how many smiles? Yeah, you smile yes. this many, 40. 40 in one day, five. in one day. But if you say 40 to 50 days, now you've changed the number of days. We're not looking no. at one day anymore, we're looking at 50 days. Yeah. Yeah, you see the difference? 
Uh, so the answer is 40 to 50 times. Okay, 40 to 50 times in a day, 40 to 50 times a day. Yeah, can you see that or do I need to remove the writing on top? Yes, yes, I see. Uh, okay, the next one, number four. Uh, okay, Abdullah Abdulaziz. Uh, uh, I think hotel. Where does he work? Yeah, does everyone agree in a hotel? Yeah, it's in hotel, but actually it's uh, in. What Cinch. was the name? What was the name of the hotel? Cinch. Yeah, maybe. Can I say the hotel? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Swatcha. Swatcha. Swatcha Hotel? Swatcha. Swatcha Hotel. Uh, it, it, it's close, but it, it, does anyone also know what it is? The name of the hotel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cinch. Central, yeah, central, yeah, yeah, central hotel. Yeah, close. Uh, okay, number five, Omar. I have number uh, six. Okay, go ahead, number six. Okay, 75 percent of people feel nervous about support. Yeah, that's quite a lot. Yeah, 75 percent is a lot. 5% of the people. Um, and the last one, where's it gone? Someone else had their hand up. Someone had, who wants to answer? Anyone else want to answer the last one? No, no? okay, have. Yazid. That's... Yeah, Yazid. I know, I'm sorry, where's my hand? You don't have an answer? Okay, go ahead. Who is saying I have? Uh, uh, me. Yeah, go ahead. I've done. I think 20. 20%. 20 was it 20? Everyone else? Was it just 20? 28. 28. Yeah, 20. Oh, yeah. 20. Okay, so the answer was 28%. Okay, so these are the answers. Yes, she needs to finish, I think, by Friday. So when? By Friday. Who? Women. How many times? 40 to 50 times. Um, where does he work? The Central Hotel. The percentage of people who smile more than 20 times, 28%. And the percentage of people who feel nervous about speaking, 75. Uh, okay, on the next page, uh, again, something similar. We're listening, for, uh, listening to information about shaking hands. Okay, so they're going to be reading this paragraph or these two paragraphs. Uh, with missing information. Okay. So listen and try to fill out the information. Unit four, listening skill, activity B. In many cultures, people shake hands when they meet. Experts say the custom started more than 2,000 years ago in ancient Greece. Some Greek paintings and artwork from this time period show leaders from different cities shaking hands to show they are at peace. Today, the handshake is still a sign of friendship around the world. A 2015 study from the UK found that the average person shakes 15,000 hands in his lifetime. But for one man, Stephen Potter, it's many more. On August 31st, 1987, Potter, who is from England, shook 19,550 hands in one day to win the world record for handshaking. Again, doctor. Yeah, okay, I'll play that again. Unit 4. Listening skill. Activity B. In many cultures, people shake hands when they meet. Experts say the custom started more than 2,000 years ago in ancient Greece. Some Greek paintings and artwork from this time period show leaders from different cities shaking hands to show they are at peace. Today, the handshake is still a sign of friendship around the world. 
A 2015 study from the UK found that the average person shakes 15,000 hands in his lifetime. But for one man, Stephen Potter, it's many more. On August 31, 1987, Potter, who is from England, shook 19,550 hands in one day to win the world record for handshaking. Uh, okay, let's take some answers. Uh, let's take answers. Rakan? Uh, yes, doctor. <clears throat> uh, you have any answer? Yes, uh, 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago. How do I write this? Yeah, just like that. Yes. Yes, yeah, I agree. Yes. Yeah. Without yeah, comma. Have, yeah, comma, comma. Yeah, yeah. yeah, without comma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2000 years ago. In ancient uh, Al Muthanna? Yes. In ancient Greece. Okay, good. In ancient Greece. Uh, some Greek pages are. Uh, today, a handshake is still the sign of uh, Ibrahim. Uh, oh, no. okay. Uh, Munir? Uh, how about? Uh, I don't know, but uh, I uh, know the second first, uh, the second space. Uh, in the second paragraph? Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, 2000 uh, study, I think. A 2000 study? Yes, everyone? No. Yeah. No. 2015. No. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2015. 2
friendly and ship. No, you either say friendly or friendship. Okay, excellent, good. Uh, Mishari? Uh, uh, number uh, four. Uh, four yeah. In uh, August, uh, 1978, August. And on August, what? Is it just August? Yeah, everyone? On August? Yes, I agree. August 7th. 7 August. Yes, yes, yes. August. August. Okay, we'll come back to August. This, how did you, how did you say this? 1987? No, 1987. Okay, yeah. but um, do we say on August? If it was just, if it's the month by itself, yeah, so let's say we're talking about the month, January, uh, um, February, March, April, yeah, any, any of month, yeah, so we ours is August. If we're talking just about the month by itself, we'll say in. In January, in February, in August. So that means there's something else. On we'll use with a date. On we'll use with a number. Yeah, so on the maybe the 2nd of August. Yeah, or on August. Uh, on August 7th. Yeah, so you can say August the 7th or August 7th. So what, what's missing here on August what? 7th, I think. Yeah, 7th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it 7th? It's not 7th. August, uh, comma, or, uh, no, the word, number wasn't 7, it was something else. Okay, we'll play that again and we'll see. Yeah, we'll listen to that again. Uh, okay, anyone else? Let's go back to the top then. Uh, can I? Uh, Abdaziz? The uh, UK, the second one. Number two, the UK. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, UK. Can I answer? Uh, who's saying can answer? Magic. Magic? Yeah, go yes. ahead. Uh, number five. England. Okay. Potter, who is from England. Okay, nice. Uh, Abdullah Blaziz. Uh, I don't have nothing. Okay, Rakan. Yeah. Rakan, you have anything? No? No, no. Uh, Yazid? Uh, six, I think it's uh, 1920. Uh, 920. And now he's spilling. 920? Yes. No, can I answer the third? Okay, go ahead. Uh, 90,000. 90,000? 90, yes. And, uh, okay, 90,000. 19, 19,000. 19. Ah, okay, 19,000. Okay, is it just 19,000? Yes. Yes, I yeah, so we need to listen for this one. Yeah, number six, we'll listen. Yeah, we need to listen for number four and uh, number and three as well. Yeah, and 458. 19,450. Yeah, I think okay. So. It's close. Yeah, it's close. 19,450 is close. Yeah, but it's there's something, it's not exactly correct. Yeah, so we listen for this. Yeah, number three, four, and six. Unit uh, four. Listening skill. Act. Okay, sorry, did someone say something? I said fifty-five. I think it's not the uh, uh, fifty. It's maybe fifty-five or something like that. Okay, let's, uh, it's clear. Fifty-five, maybe. Okay. A 2015 study from the UK found that the average person shakes 15,000 hands in his lifetime. 
But for one man, Stephen Potter, it's many. Who is it? Or uh, both. Potter, yeah, his name. Stephen Potter. Yeah, both. Stephen Potter. Stephen Potter. Okay, and now next one. Be more. On August 31st, 1987, Potter. On August the what? Uh, 1887. Uh, huh? I think yeah. eight. Eight? Eight, eight, eight. I think no. 13. I think 13. Okay, okay. On August 31st, 1987, 30. many more. 30 30 On August 31st, 19. 19... Yeah, 31st. Potter, it's many more. On August 31st, yeah, on, August 19... 30, on August 31st. 31. Yeah, so you write 30, 31, yeah? August 31. But when we say it, we'll say August 31st. Yeah, 1987. Okay, number five is done. Number six. 1987. Potter, who is from England, shook 19,550 uh -huh. hands in one day. Shook right. 19,550 hands in one. What is it? 19,550. 550, yeah. 550, yeah. So 450 was very close, yeah. 550. Okay, excellent. 19,550. Um, yeah, but she, she's not saying any of the ands, yeah. So she's saying 19,550. Uh, this one, she said in 2015. Yeah, so remember when you said about when you talked about numbers or, or dates? Anything before 2000. Yeah, so like this one, 1987. Or if you had 18, uh, yeah, 188, 1855, for example. Any of these numbers before 20. If the number comes before 20, then we'll split it into two. 1855. Uh, but after the 2000, yeah, since 2000, you can say in two ways. Yeah, so you can say, uh, oh, sorry, from, from 2000, yeah, up to 2009, yeah, from 2000, 2009, you'd say 2000, 2000, 2001, 2002, up to 2009. Then after that, yeah, you can say either way. You can either say 2010 or 2010. Yeah, up until now. Yeah, so, uh, for example, we're now in 2021. Yeah, so you can say 2021 or you can say 2021. Yeah, so before 2000, you have to you say each one separate. From 2000 2009, you you say as as the thousands. And then after that, from 2010 onwards, you can say either. Web. Web. Where? Who are you listening to? What's where? The word web. You listen to the word web. Uh, okay. Uh, Abdullah. Okay. Uh, so now the next thing, yeah, this is clear, yeah, everyone? Activity. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Thank the you. next thing we have now is a note taking skill making notes using a word web. Okay, go ahead, Abdullah. Um, before you speak in class, and uh, this question or for a uh, presentation, presentation, it's useful to uh, take time together. So, some ideas about what, what you uh, want to say. This will help. You remember the vocabulary you need and share your ideas more clearly. A word web is a good way to gather your ideas. Look at a student's word web uh, for the question, when do we smile? Okay, thank you, Abdullah. Zakhla Khaira. This is a form of brainstorming, uh, which is which is useful before you. Yeah, what they're saying before you speak, yeah, any sort of discussion, any sort of of speaking that you do. Uh, 
uh, whether it's a discussion or a presentation or you're just talking to someone else. Um, and also before you write as well. Yeah? If you're going to write an article or an essay, yeah, before you write, it's always good to do a brainstorm. It's always good to plan before you write. Um, so you'll make, you'll just, maybe you can make a list. You can make a list of things that you want to talk about. Or you can do what they're mentioning here, a word web. Yeah, you can call it a word web or you call it a brainstorm. Um, and you'll, you'll have your thing, in the, the, the topic in the middle. Yeah, when do we smile? And then coming out from this topic, you'll have all of your ideas. Okay, so um, before so this the student wants to talk, yeah, he's going to talk, or maybe he's presenting this to the class. Uh, so he wants to write down his ideas first. So he's got, when do we smile in the middle? Talking about greeting. Yeah, we meet someone new, introducing ourselves, saying hello. That's one of the times we smile. When another time we might smile in professional situations, when you're greeting customers in, in, in your workplace. Um, another time we might file, uh, we might smile when we feel uh, when when it's to do with feelings, feeling shy, feeling embarrassed. Uh, and another time we might smile, uh, which is miscellaneous. Yeah, other times yeah, in photos when something happens, when something good happens. Yeah, so these are just other times where we might smile. Okay, so he's got three main things that he's talking about: greetings, professional situations. Um, feelings, and then other. Okay, and then because you've because you've done this brainstorm, when you now present to the class, yeah, or when you're going to sp you're going to speak, or there's some sort of discussion, you have all of your ideas in front of you. Uh, let's see if we can make our own uh, word web. So there's a question here: How do you use body language to communicate? Yeah, how do you use body language to communicate? Okay, so just take a minute to do this by yourself. Yeah, just think of uh, of the different ways we can use body language from what we've heard. Yeah, you can also use the things that we've heard, yeah, um, or even the things that we discussed, yeah, either the things that we listened to, or even the things that we discussed uh, last lesson. Yeah, does anyone have any idea no. how they might use body language? Maybe uh, yes, all those uh, who don't listen. Or those who uh, don't listen. For those who can't hear, you mean those who can't hear? Can't hear, eh? Yes. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Uh, okay, we maybe use body, how do you use body language to communicate? Um, to talk, yeah, to talk to someone who can't hear. Yeah, okay, good. When else we, we, may, we might use body language? Even, just think about in your day-to-day -day life. Yeah, maybe when you meet someone, do you ever use any sort of body language? Uh, Yazid, do you have anything? No, um, Abdullah Al-Bafiri, Munir, uh, yes. Doctor, yeah. I answer to talk to, to someone, not very. Oh, that was yours, yeah? Oh, was that yours? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Uh, Munir, do you have anything else? Uh, no. Any, any, just think in your day in your day to day life. Yeah, so in your yeah. normal in your normal, uh, just think about a day from when you wake up until you go sleep. In that one day, have you ever used? Do you ever use body language? No, no one. Uh, all my uh, sorry. Uh, all my example uh, about uh, to talk to someone who can hear, like when you uh, when he uh, 
بقول لما يكون بعيد منك ما اعرف ايش معناه سوري شيء اجين صوتك يقطع ترى شوي ما ادري اي دونت هاف انسر نو سالي دو يو هاف اني ثينج كان اي يا جو هيد صالح هوز كان اي صالح عبد 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 العزيز maybe we can uh, use hand to say uh, there uh, to say what sorry to say there we don't say it, just uh, use hand okay to, uh, when you're pointing to pointing at something yeah Okay, when you want to point at something, good. Can I answer? Point at something. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, when uh, someone asks me something I don't know, uh, I raise my uh, shoulder. Okay, yeah, we call that shrug, shrugging your shoulders. Shrug your shoulders, good. Yeah, when you don't, when yeah, someone, answer. when you don't know, when you don't know the answer to something, yeah, instead yes. of saying, I don't know, you can just put your shoulders up. Yeah, you can shrug your shoulders. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, uh, to understand, uh, feel someone uh, without uh, ask him. Uh, what, what do you do with your body? Uh, what? Uh, I don't understand. You're saying you. You're saying you when. Uh, Uh, what did you do with your body to make someone understand? Uh, like when, uh, like when he uh, angry. Ah, uh, okay. Your, your facial yeah. expressions. Yeah. Okay, so you can understand maybe someone's feelings from facial expressions. Good. Yeah, maybe we can understand someone's feeling, uh, how someone's feeling from the facial expression. Good. Uh, Murad? Uh, I am sorry, I didn't know, but uh, to uh, talk uh, to some, uh, how can't uh, talk? Okay, yeah, to someone who can't talk or hear, yeah. 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 Someone else who can't talk or they can't hear, yeah. Uh, what about if someone was blind? Can you use body language for someone who's blind? No. Or well, not really? Huh? No. What? If someone was blind, if, if you met someone who's blind, can you use body language to, to communicate to them? No, no. 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 Uh, Okay, uh, Omar, yes, Omar. Uh, doctor, uh, can you hear uh, an annoying sound? When you hear what, sorry? Uh, annoying sound or uh, something. Not, when, you uh, hear, but... when you hear a loud sound? No, uh, sound. Uh, Is, uh, not loud. Ah, a yes, quiet, no. the opposite of, of loud, quiet? No. Sound uh, not uh, normal. It's uh, not uh, how it is. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm not quite catching what you're saying. Um, there's maybe something similar to what you're saying. Doctor, yeah, maybe. yeah. If uh, someone uh, blind, maybe I can uh, write in his plan. Okay, yeah. If someone's like blind, yeah, maybe you yeah. could write in their palm. Yeah. Okay, so using your finger, use and uh, finger write. to write yeah. in someone's palm. Good. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, and that's that is some sort of body language. Yeah, excellent. Uh, the thing that Omar was saying, uh, there's something similar to it. Um, I don't know if he's maybe talking about the same thing. You know when you can't hear some someone and then you uh, touch the back of your ear? 
have, uh, have, have any of you done that? So you imagine you, someone says yes. something, but it's too quiet. So you put your hand behind your ear. Yeah, actually, yeah. I do it a lot of times. Yes, yeah, yes, you do it a lot of times. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So putting the hand behind uh, your ear. We, we use it uh, to example. To do what? Sorry. Uh, we use it to example. Example. For an example. To example. Know, example. Sure. Example. Exa are you saying example? No. The or maybe type is... type the word. Type the word in the chat. Uh, okay, Muhammad Harbi, do you have anything else? No, Ibrahim. Yes, yes. Yeah, go ahead, Muhammad. Uh, through eye movements. Okay, through eye movements. Yeah. Good, yeah, eye movements. Yeah, and that's, there's multiple eye movements. Yeah? Uh, if someone's angry, yeah, you you uh, you widen your eyes. Uh, if someone's talking rubbish, yeah, you can roll your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, or someone saying something that you you don't want to listen to him. Yeah, you roll your eyes. Um, or looking away, yeah, looking at something, looking away. Eye movements. Yeah, a lot of different eye movements. Good, uh, Ibrahim. Uh, we use it, uh, body language uh, to express uh, your uh, mental uh, state. Okay, so using body language to express your mental state. Okay, is there an example of that? Yeah. Do you have an example? Can you give an example, Ibrahim? No, no, no. Use it to explain. Okay, yeah, use it to explain, yeah. Okay, so put your hand behind your ear to explain, maybe. Okay, can anyone think of an example of that? Expressing your mental state, how will your body show how you're feeling? Uh, if someone is, um, if someone's body is slouching, yeah, or someone is um, uh, looking down, maybe let's say, yeah, looking down, uh, the body is slouched over or they hunch, uh, they hunch down. Uh, they look, yeah, which mean may, maybe they're sad, yeah, or they're feeling upset. Yeah, or someone you can see someone's. Uh, crying, yeah, so tears coming out of someone's eyes, yeah, means that they might be sad. When you hear a loud sound, that's why. I mean. Okay, when you hear a loud sound, uh, so maybe you cover your ears, yeah, so maybe covering your ears, when you hear a loud sound, excellent, yeah, so there's so many different ways you can use body language. Yeah, even things like shaking hands, yeah, shaking hands, you know, that's a, a way of communicating. Um, nodding our head, yeah, you can nod. Yeah, you all know what nodding is. Yeah, when you want to say yes to something without saying yes, yeah, you just shake your head up and down. Nod. Yeah. Uh, and the opposite as well, if you're saying no. Yeah, so nodding means when you say yes, and shake means no. When you shake your head, that's saying no. Uh, okay, well done, everyone. Good. Uh, okay, next thing we have. Uh, let's look at this critical thinking strategy. Interpreting. Would someone like to read this? Can I? Can I? Uh, Abdullah Abdulaziz. Did you just read the one before it? Uh, me, no. No, okay, go ahead, Abdullah. There was other Abdullah. Then. Yeah, go ahead. Enter uh, break, uh, break thing. We uh -huh. often Enter. use people, uh, fast kill expression. Facial, facial is right. Facial. 
فيشل اكسبرشن اور بادي لانجويج تو انتر بريد انتربريت وات ذي ار ثينكينج اور فيلينج وين يو انتربريت يو يوز يور اون knowledge uh, knowledge or uh, other information to better understand a, uh, a situation okay uh, thank you abdullah jazakallah uh, khaira uh, we are looking at interpreting yeah which is which one of you just mentioned here uh, yeah looking at someone's facial expressions or uh, facial expressions or um, body language yeah, someone's body language um to understand how they are feeling or what they are thinking um yeah because they're not saying this to us so we are interpreting this uh use your own knowledge on the situation okay let's look at this let's see if we can do this it says look at the pictures so based on the picture what do you think the person is feeling or how do you think how do you think the person is feeling or what do you think they are thinking Yeah, what do we think? A I think she's jealous. Okay, maybe could be jealous, yeah. Yeah, possibly jealous, maybe even up slightly upset possibly. Uh, what about B? Angry. Angry, angry. Yeah. Uh, angry. Cuz uh, different different uh, opinion. Uh, they're discussing okay yeah maybe they're yeah. discussing here but how is he feeling uh, in terms of feeling so they're discussing something yeah but we could say angry possibly yeah 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 maybe what about this i think uh, nervous and for you uh, see nervous maybe uh, nervous, nervous. nervous. Upset. and stressed i think yeah more stressed yeah maybe closer to stress than nervous yeah, yeah but could be nervous if if there's something big that's going to happen Yeah, or worried. Yeah, maybe more worried than nervous. Yeah, stressed, worried. Okay, what about D? I think uh, sad. Thinking. Sad. Thinking. Possibly sad. Yeah, or just generally yeah. thinking. Excellent. Uh, okay, let's listen and see how close we were. Uh, match the pictures in activity C. So the pictures above with the conversations, uh, and then based on the conversations, we can maybe we can um, we'll be able to understand how they were feeling. Unit four, note-taking skill, activity D, one. I talked with my best friend, Lynn, yesterday. I told her about my plan to take a new job in Vancouver. She looked really sad. She said she wanted to be alone and think. Two, someone took the report from Wen's desk. I sit next to him, so he thought I took it. He looked pretty angry when he asked me about it. Of course I didn't do it. Three. My car didn't start this morning. I was late for work. I explained the situation to my boss, but I know she didn't believe me. Okay, so which, what, what do we think? Yeah, go ahead. I think uh, two is B. Okay, two B. Everyone agree? Number two is B. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, number two yes, is B. Agree. You disagree? Why? Can I answer? Murad, you disagree? Yes, it's three B. Three is B. No, 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 two. Two is B. Oh, yeah. oh, you agree? Two is yes, B. yes. Okay, good. Uh, go ahead, uh, Mansoor. Your answer? Uh, yes, I think uh, C is A. C is A. Does everyone agree? C is A. No, yeah. no A. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. A, A. A. Yes. Well, what do you think it is? Yeah, yeah. You so someone uh, Mansoor is saying A and Abdulaziz is saying D. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, what about number one? What's number one then? Any answer? Uh, 
Yeah, go ahead. Uh, D. So number no one is D. D. I guess yeah. And number one, D. A. A. And you think it's A, then? Yeah, yeah. All right, so which one is which? Yeah, so one of them is D, one of them is A, yeah, definitely. Uh, the first one is talking about what? Talking, he wanted to be alone and thinking because he didn't, they are, didn't accept her in the job. Okay, so there's, yeah, someone is, someone is uh, applying for a new place, they're moving work, and the, uh, her friend wants to be alone to think. What about number three? Yeah. It's angry because he wanted to explain why she's he late, but he didn't accept. The okay. Apology. Yeah. Uh, so if so, so, someone is maybe more angry or sad. Yeah. That yeah. the boss is not understanding. Okay. So let's listen. Which one? So which one do you think is then? So based on that, which one? May I, but uh, I think the first one she said, my friend is upset and she want to uh, be alone. Okay, which is what, A or D? I think it's, uh, I think, uh, uh, I think it's uh, A. D. A. Okay, and then what about number three? Why, why, do you, why are you saying uh, D for number three? Uh, I thinking so. I thinking so because uh, I already take A. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, but yeah. okay, so we, we know A is A is women, alone and D is alone as well, yes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, both are alone. We can see it. they're both alone. Uh, but in this one, she seems more what? Maybe more slightly angry or slightly sad, yes? Yeah, and uh, and uh, she's uh, wearing the and she's wearing her work clothes as well. The job, yes, his job. Yeah. She's wearing her work clothes, her job clothes. Work attire, yeah. uh, and, but, uh, but to be honest, and, in terms of work, they're, both, they're all working, yeah, because even number one was working as well, yeah. Number one, yeah, she said, I'm also, yeah, I'm applying for a new job, yeah, so it's still working as well. Uh, but this one, does she look sad, angry? No, she just looks like she's thinking, yeah. Uh, so it seems what? It seems closer. Yeah, that number one will be. Number uh, one will be D. what? D. Yeah, it's closer. D. That number one will be D. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and number three will be A. Hey, is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So G and A. And uh, okay, we can skip the next thing. What's, what is on the next page? Like, uh, uh, the, just the, uh, if he, he lying or not. Like, just... Uh, 89. Um, oh, let me, I haven't taken attendance, have I? Yeah, yeah, you didn't take. All right, let me take attendance while this thing loads. Uh, just listen out for your number, please. <clears throat> Uh, number one, two, three. Number one, uh, prison doctor. Four. I am prison doctor. 
Five. I am here. Five. I am here. Six. I am here. Seven. Present. Eight. Present. Nine. Ten. Present, doctor. Eleven. Nine. Nine is present. Okay, ten. Eleven. Twelve. Present. Thirteen. Fourteen. Present. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Present. Nineteen. Present. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Present. Mubarak. Where yes, were you for the past two days? Twenty-five. Uh, you okay? Present. Yes, Mubarak. First day, doctor. I have uh, the internet, doctor. Uh huh. Okay. Twenty-six. Present, doctor. 25 present, doctor. Present, 27. What's present? 20, 27. 28. Present. 29. Present. 30. Present. 31. Present. 32. 33. Present, I'm here. 34. Present. 35. 36. Present. 37. Present. 38. 39. 38. Present, Doctor. 40. Mohammed, where is he? 41. 41. Present. 42. Present. 43. Alba. 44. <clears throat> 45. Present. 46. Present. 47. Present. 48. Present. 49. Present. 50. 51. Present. 50 present. 52. 53. Present. 54. Present. 55. Present. 56. 57. Present. 58. Present. 59. Present. 60. Present. 61. Present. 62. 63. Present. 63. 64. Present. 65. Present, Doctor. 66. Present. 67. 68. Present. 69. Present. 70. 71. Present. 72. Present. 73. Present. 74. Present. 75. Present. 76. Present. 77. Present. 78. 79. Present. 79. 80. 81. Uh, 80. Present. 81. 82. 83. Eighty-four. Present. Eighty-five. Uh, present, Victor. Eighty-six. I'm present. Eighty-seven. Present. Eighty-eight. Present. Eighty-nine. Albert. Ninety. Present, Doctor. Ninety-one. Present. Ninety-two. 
92. Is that you, Abdullah Atebi? No. Uh, who? 100. 92? No, present 100. Okay, no, no, no. Um, 93? Present 93. 94? Present. 95? 96? 96, present, doctor. 97? Present, doctor. 98? 99? Present, doctor. 100? 101? Present. Okay, Mutlaq, 98 Mutlaq, uh, 92 Abdullah, uh, 83 Hamad. A prison doctor. I'm sorry, but the internet is uh, uh, shaking. He or it? What? He or it? It. I'm sorry. It. Uh, 78 Al Walid. And when is it? Uh, 77 Abdullah. Al Walid, why is your name S? Why is your your um, your avatar S? Uh, six, uh, Mishadi 67. Mohanad 65, uh, 56, Ziyad 55, Hamad 32, Faisal 17, Faisal 17, uh, Abdul Aziz 16. Present. Who's present? 15. 15. Uh, 13 Mishari. 11 Al Walid. 10 Muhammad. Uh, 2 Muhammad. Uh, sorry, 3 Muhammad, 2 Safi. Uh, uh, doctor? Yes. Uh, uh, Mohamed Tajani uh, is uh, present, but he in the college because uh, the state subject. Mohamed, uh, who's Tajani? Munahi? Yeah, Mohamed Munahi. Yeah, yeah, I put him present. I come back. I, come yeah. back. Uh, I was uh, with the probability and statistics, uh, statistics uh, doctor. Uh huh. Okay. You had an exam today? Not exam, but uh, an hour office. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not just present. Yeah. Uh, Abdullah seventy-seven. I'm not just present. Yeah. Abdullah 77. Abdullah 77. Okay, let's go back to the book. <clears throat> uh, the second listening. Yeah, we won't do the second listening. Yeah, we'll skip the second listening, but we'll go through the vocab. Yeah, we'll do the vocab from the book. We have the words um, afraid, however, investigate a crime, to lie, to observe, uh, probably talented, and move. Okay, so they've given us eight words. 
and uh, they've given you two two possible answers okay, so circle the answer that best match uh, best matches the meaning of the underlying word uh, so the first one is do it together i'm afraid to tell my sister i broke her favorite cup she's going to be angry afraid is that a feeling of fear or excitement yeah. 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 feeling of fear good okay do the rest by yourself yeah, it shouldn't take long, maybe about uh, two, three minutes, and then we'll take the answers.
Okay, let's take the answers. Uh, Abdul Malik. Yes, doctor. Uh, yeah, Arwa uh, is very quiet at first. However, when uh, she feels uh, comfortable, uh, she uh, talks a lot. But. But, okay, so however is, but. Yeah, everyone agrees, but? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. However is, but, good. Uh, Abdul Mahsin, Salim. Uh, can I answer uh, number four? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, did the boy lie when uh, he said, he said he didn't talk Take the he? Uh, he he said he didn't take the cookie. Say something that is not true. Something that is not true. Lying is uh, saying something which is not the truth. Good. Uh, uh, Fahad Bedar. Three. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I think we so invest you with a lot, lot of police cars on my street. I think the police were here to investigate a crime to learn about to learn answer five. to learn how people feel about something. Yeah, does everyone agree? Uh, oh, no, 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 I learn about uh, no. a bad things. Yeah, someone, no. someone yeah. did, someone did. Yes, it's a bad thing, yeah? investigating a crime. A crime is yes. something bad. Yeah? Uh, someone's done something bad. Yeah, so it's not about how they feel. It's about the thing they've done bad. Uh, yes, who wants to ask number five? Someone's going to... Okay, all right. Uh, okay, go ahead, Mohammed. Okay, number four. Now four is done. Okay. It's interesting to visit another country and observe uh, people's body language. People express uh, themselves differently in other cultures. I think A, watch carefully. Yeah, everyone agrees? Observe, to watch carefully? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. To watch, observe, good. Uh, Talal, do you have number five, yeah. uh, number six? Talal, oh, no. your hand is no. up. No, no. You have anything? Have six, seven, answer. or eight? Uh, can I take them? Uh, no. No? Okay. Uh, okay, go ahead, Abdullah. Abdullah Abdulaziz. Uh, yeah, uh, six. Uh, uh, Omar will, uh, will probably become a detective. He watched a lot detective. of... Detective. Uh, detective. Detective. He watched a lot of a crime show on the TV. Uh, I think not really. Okay, Umar, Umar will not really become a detective. Yeah, he watches a lot of crime. Yeah, everyone agrees? Probably he will not really. No. Yes, yes, not really. Yes. Yeah. Okay, how many of you think not really? Uh, no, not really. I think I think must uh, occur. Yeah, most certainly. And the second the second sentence will help us. Yeah, he's watching a lot of crime. Is it, uh, Why? Because he wants to become a detective. Yeah, or uh, very likely. Yeah, probably means likely. Probably means likely. Yeah, maybe like is, maybe, maybe become yeah, almost certainly. Um, yeah, it's a bit maybe he's pushing it slightly. Yeah. Um, but it's closer, almost pro almost certainly, is closer to probably than not really. Yeah, yeah, I must correct. It's B. Yeah, so the answer is B. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see, Munir. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, about uh, number four. No. Number four, the four is done. Number four. Uh, the, uh, some uh yeah okay oh, like you have an answer for seven or eight no 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 uh and 
Uh, who, Abdullah, okay, Abdullah Zafiri, go ahead. Eight. Eight, doctor. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I ran uh, 10 mils yesterday. Uh, it hurts to move today. Uh, A, change the way to sit or stand. Okay, everyone agrees, yeah? Moving is to changing. Uh, changing. I think B. No, no. Stay in one no, place and rest? I think it's B. A, no, yeah. no, Dr. A. Change the way. To... Move, move, change. Move. It, it, what's out the word move? Move. Move, to, uh, move is to, change, uh, is it change. to stay in one place? Is no, moving no, staying no. in one place? Change, uh, change to uh, it's changing, yeah, changing the way you sit or stand. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. So a, and this word is miles. Yeah, I ran ten miles. Uh, okay. The last one, Eid. Uh, seven. Huh? Uh, uh, seven. Yeah. Uh, tell them the actor uh, nouns and uh, who would use a uh, social expression, expression uh, and uh, body language uh, to express its uh, uh, emotions. Em express think, uh, emotions. Emotions. Uh, I think A about uh, to do something well. Okay, so someone who has talent can do something well. Yeah, everyone agrees? Talented is able to do something well. Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs yes. Up. Yes. Yeah. Murad is in thumbs up. Uh, okay. So these are the answers. Yeah. One is A, two B, three A, four A, five A, six B, seven A, and eight A. Uh, the second listening. Yeah. We said we will we'll skip the listening. And you can find you can find this online. Yeah, if you want the audio for this, if you want to do this activity, you can find it online uh, on the, the Oxford Learners. Uh, what's, what's the website? Oxford Practice or something like that. Uh, you can find that and you can do it if you, if you want to, you can do those activities. Uh, let's go to page 86. We are now looking at synonyms. Yeah, we've already covered synonyms before. Uh, but there's looking at some more synonyms now. Would someone like to read this? Uh, can I, uh, all of your hands are up, so I, I don't know. Uh, okay, Abdullah, you read the. Does anyone else want to read? Murad, okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh... Sign, 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 synonyms. 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 Are synonyms. Good. Yeah, yeah, synonyms. Good. Uh, are words that have uh, emirates, uh, emirates, the uh, Sam or uh, Solomon, uh, meaning the dictionary. Uh, often, or uh, often, given uh, seven and ten means in the synonyms. The, uh, synonyms in the uh, definition, uh, definition, definition of a word in the ex uh, example, example, uh, uh, sentence. Split into three. So C. Synonym. Synonym. Synonym is given for uh, funny. Okay, and then just the last bit as well. The cat? Yes. Yeah, you can, yeah. Uh, you can uh, let your uh, verbally uh, vocabulary uh, vocabulary uh, be lending uh, synonyms uh, for uh, words you uh, already uh, now. Uh, language uh, synonyms uh, will uh, help you uh, intent, uh, understand more, understand uh, more uh, when you're listening. Okay, Listen thank you, Murad. Exactly.
Um, so these are synonyms. Yeah, we've looked at them, uh, at them before. Uh, words which have similar meaning. Okay, it won't be the same meaning, but words which have uh, a very, very similar meaning. Uh, so for example, anger and rage. Yeah, so two words, they have very similar meaning. And what we just looked at now, yeah, however, we had however and but. Yeah, so the meanings of the two words are very similar. Yeah, so these will be called synonyms. Um, in Arabic, what do you call this? What do you call synonyms in Arabic? Muradif. Okay. Muradif. Muradifat. Yeah, Muradifat. Okay, uh, so these are your synonyms. Um, and you can find this within the dictionary. Yeah. The synonyms are normally given within a dictionary. Uh, <coughs> there's two places you can find synonyms. Yeah, you can find them within a dictionary, but the main place you find a, a, a synonym is a book which is made just for that. Yeah, it's called a thesaurus. Yeah, have you all heard of thesaurus before? Yes, no? Sorry, what? Uh, a thesaurus. And what and what's that? Okay, so you all know what dictionary is, yes? Yeah, you all know dictionary. Yes, no. What's what's a dictionary? Camus. Okay, like a camus. Yeah, dictionary is like a camus. Yeah. Yeah. So let's look. We look at this word funny. Yeah. So in in a dictionary. You type in the word funny. Yeah, this and this dictionary, this one, this one, by the way, is uh, by the same the same authors of the book. So if you're looking for any sort of uh, uh, definitions, yeah, this will be probably one of the best ones to use. Yeah, Oxford Learners Dictionaries. Uh, okay, so the dictionary has given us the word funny. It's telling it's telling us as an adjective. Uh, and here we can go down and we see synonyms. So the dictionary will give us synonyms. So uh, we can funny, and also say amusing, entertaining, witting, humorous, comic, hilarious. Yes, yeah, so all of these words are synonymous to funny. They all have a similar meaning. Uh, okay. But the main thing that we get from the dictionary was what? The main thing is no, we didn't come for the synonyms. The main thing you can't get go to dictionary is for the meaning. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But there's a so there's another book. Okay. Yeah, it's called a thesaurus. Yeah. Okay. And the, the thesaurus um, will it's just a book for synonyms, nothing else. Okay. And synonyms, uh, doctor, it's mean uh, words have uh, similar meaning? Yeah, synonym is, is a word that has similar meaning. Okay, so again, if you look at our word funny, yeah, we type in the word funny, and it'll give you a list of all of the possible synonyms for that word. Yeah, so this is a book. Yeah, uh, as in, it's, it's a book you find at the source. Back in the days, it was a book form, but you can find it on the internet like this, yeah, something like thesaurus.com. Um, and all it gives you is um, the, the, the synonyms. All it gives you are the other words which have a similar meaning. Yeah, so it's not for the, you won't use this to get the meaning. You'll get use this to find another word with similar meaning. <coughs> yeah, so you, you can find it in the dictionary. Yeah, so you get to go to the dictionary, which gives us the meaning. Yeah, so we know the dictionary gives us the meaning. That's the main thing. You can also find synonyms there, but not as many. Yeah, they won't give you that many. If you want more synonyms, then you'll have to go to um, a thesaurus. Is that clear? Yeah, yes, maybe I could... Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I could just share these with you. Yeah, so these links, uh, if you ever want to, you can. Yeah, uh, so if you go on the link and if you want to search for any word, you just go into the search box at the top. Yeah, so any word that you're not sure of, you want to search for, you just search at the top there. Uh, any word that you want to find the, a synonym for. Yeah, that means it gives us uh, more word about uh, mean like funny. Yeah, so all of these words will have the meaning of funny. Yeah. But each word will be used in a different... So each word is, is similar to funny, but it has its own meaning. Okay, so absurd. Yeah, so let's, take, let's look at the first one, for example. Absurd means funny, but it's funny like from a, uh, from a, a silly perspective. So it's funny, but silly at the same time. Yeah, so it's similar to funny, but it's not exactly the same. Yeah, again, amusing. Amusing is, is closer to funny. Uh, yeah, entertaining, yeah, would be, again, funny. Um, why is it going up and down? Yeah, so entertaining would be something funny, but it's also interesting at the same time. Yeah, so it's not just funny, it's also interesting. Yeah, hilarious will be funny, but more, like, not just funny, it'll be very funny. Hilarious will be something very funny. Yeah, so all of these, they all have the meaning of funny, uh, but they all, they all have their own slight touch yeah, from a different angle, different perspective. Yeah, for example, anger and rage. Yeah, they both mean, they both have a single, similar meaning yeah, about being angry, but rage would be you could say maybe very angry. Uh, okay, let's go to the next page. Identify, it says, read the sentences. Write a synonym from the box for each underlined word. Uh, okay, the first one you already know because I just said it. Uh, so each, each sentence has an underlined word. You want to find the meaning or the, syn the synonymous term, yeah, the synonym for these words in the box above. Okay, the first one we already did was the first one. Ali wanted to become a detect uh, detective, but his parents wanted him to become a doctor. However. However, yeah, so but is the same as however. Um, yeah, so again, so the meaning is the same. Yeah? We're looking at words which have similar meaning. Okay, do the rest by yourself. Yeah, so we have the words watch, explain, feelings, and scared. Uh, okay, let's take the answers. Um, our word watch. Can anyone give me the answer for watch? Mansoor? <clears throat> yeah, Mansoor, are you there? No? Uh, Rakan? Uh, number two, uh, uh, observe. To watch is to observe. Okay, good. Uh, yes, Yazid. Uh, explain. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, the describe. Uh, describe. To describe. Explain is to describe. Good. Uh, Um, Aid, do you have anything? Yes, Aid. Aid, yeah, do you have an answer? Aid? Uh, 
Prova uh, Epilchia. Uh, feelings are emotions. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Feelings are our emotions. And Umar? Uh, last one, afraid. The last one will be afraid. Yeah, so scared is afraid. Um, so because these are synonymous terms, they can they can replace the word. Yeah, so the fact that they're synonymous, they should be able to replace the word. Okay, so in this sentence, we can say, I want to become a detective. Full stop. Yeah, the difference between however and but, yeah, with, with but, we can use a comma. With however, we'll use a full stop in the next sentence. Okay, however, his parents wanted him to become a doctor. Uh, you can learn a lot about a person when you observe his body language. Yeah, so we can replace the word. Describe, a teacher asks a student to describe the method. Uh, people often write about, about their emotions. I, she was too afraid to say anything. Yeah, so our synonymous term uh, should be able to replace um, the, t the word in our sentence. Uh, write a sentence for each synonym. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Uh, so they want us, they've given us three words. The words investigate, the, word, uh, the, uh, the words investigate, wrong, and communicate. They want us to find a synonym for each of these words and then write a sentence with the synonym. Okay, let's use the website, that, let's use the one above. Okay, investigate. Okay, so we'll use, let's go to the dictionary. Let's check our word investigate. Okay, investigate. We're looking for synonyms. Any synonyms? Word origin. No. All right, let's go to our, yeah, let's use this, investigate. All right, so they've given us some synonyms here. Yeah, so we didn't find it in, um, in the dictionary. We'll, we'll go to the thesaurus. Yeah, our word investigate. Which, which word shall we use to replace investigate or as a synonym? Maybe explore is given. Explore? Yeah, explore. Yeah, okay, explore. Let's see our word explore. Oops. Okay, we'll write down the word explore. All right, can, can someone give me a sentence with the word explore? Can I answer? Sorry? Can I answer? Yeah, go ahead. Discuss. What's discuss? You mean another word for investigate? Uh, discuss is, no, I'm sorry. What are you saying? Discussed. Oh, no, we need. We want a sentence. We want a sentence with the word "explore." Yeah, or I'll leave that to do by yourselves. Okay, you can think. Yeah. So later on. Yeah, using the word uh, "explore." Doctor, doctor. Right. Yeah. Sorry, I I want the answer for question number three. In page, page three uh, above. 83. On page 83? No, no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's just go through this first quickly. Yeah, so I'll, I'll leave you to write the sentence by yourself. Yeah, you can write a sentence using the word explore. Yeah, or you don't have to even word, use the word explore. You can choose one of the other words. Yeah, examine, study. Okay. Investigate is also similar to study. Um, okay, what about wrong? Let's see what, what synonym, synonyms they give us for wrong. Maybe false. Okay. False. Okay, wrong might be false. Yeah. Uh, okay, they've given us. Uh, they haven't given us a wrong here. 
Yeah, missing, misrepresent, yeah, could be false. Yeah. They cheat, uh, offend. Okay, so this is a different meaning of wrong. Yeah, let's see. Maybe they can go with something else here. Yeah, because with with this, uh, within um, with each word you have you have multiple meanings. Yeah, so for example, we have the meaning not correct. Yeah, we also have the meaning uh, mistaken. Yeah, something is not right about someone. Yeah, so let's see some synonyms here. False. There you go. Yeah, false or mistaken, incorrect. Yeah, so depending on the meaning that we're looking at. For wrong, uh, our synonym could be different. Yeah, so that's something to, to pay pay attention to. Um, yeah, so our word wrong, yeah, will have different synonyms depending on the meaning. Okay, so if we're looking at the word wrong in terms of the meaning uh, incorrect. If we're looking at our word wrong with the meaning of incorrect, then we'll have things like yeah, false. But if we're looking at the meaning of wrong, as in hurting someone, yeah, to wrong someone, you did something, you hurt them, yeah, this could be to do with mistreatment. Then. Yeah, mistreatment. Treatment. Yeah. So depending on our word, yeah, everything depends on the on the meaning that we uh, that we want. Yeah. So it's a good, same thing could be with investigate as well. Depending on the meaning, yeah, your synonym might change. Uh, communicate again. Yeah. So depending on the meaning that we're looking at and communicate, your synonym might change. Yeah. I'll leave you to do this by yourselves then. Yeah. So you look at the look in the dictionary, find the synonym, and write a sentence. Uh, what page did you want? Muhammad? Uh, 83. <clears throat> 83. What, why? Did you even do 83 today? Was that today, 83? No, uh, I asked uh, the student. Oh, that was... Yeah, to learn a bad thing about someone? Yeah, done? Yeah, done, done. Thanks. Oh, you're saying investigate came on page 83. Is that what you're saying? No, I just uh, want to uh, know what's the meaning, A or B. Okay, the answer was A. Because I, wa I was confused. Yeah, now investigate a crime. Yeah, we're looking at a crime. Yeah, learning yeah. the bad thing. Okay, but this sentence, for example, uh, on, the, on the page where we're looking at the uh, synonyms, you could just write this sentence. Yeah, there are lots of police, uh, police cars on my street. I think the police are here to, uh, what was our word? Explore. Uh, ex uh, yeah, maybe explore a crime. And fix it. Sorry? That word uh, change uh, was uh, invicted, but we shouldn't change it uh, to explore. It was what before? In, uh, invicted, I think. Investigate? In yeah. It was, but we uh, changed what it. Else, what other word did we have? Consider. Uh, examine. Okay, so this one, maybe the, the answer here would be examine. Yeah? If in this sentence, yeah, so if we're looking at um, sentence with the police, yeah, so this sentence, imagine we wanted to replace investigate. Here we can say, I think the police are here to examine a crime yeah, or examine a crime scene. Yeah, so it's not, um, so even though they they're telling you about synonyms, you not every single synonym can just replace a word. Yeah, so the meaning of the sentence has to still be there. Does that make sense? Yeah, the meaning, you can't change the meaning of the sentence. Okay, the next page, we're looking at the grammar, the simple present, for informal narratives. Okay, would someone like to read this? What about uh, activity B? What's activity B? 
uh, explore. No, no, I said you can do that by yourselves. You can do that by oh, yourselves. Okay. I do it. I think uh, that's why. Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's see if there's some, possible, there might be some answers in the thing. Okay, examine. So the, if you want, you can take a picture of this. Yeah, and you can try it yourself. Yeah, and um, yeah, because it, this is not the only answer. Yeah, this is not the only answer. Um, because you yeah. can get any synonym, yeah, any synonym for the word investigate. Yeah, I examined the rock. Yeah, or wrong was incorrect. I did the incorrect homework. Communicate is see one of the meanings or one of the synonyms for communicate is to show. Yeah, if you, I if I am communicating that. to you, if I am communicating to you um, what's required. Yeah, for you to study. Yeah, I am showing you yeah, or I'm telling you what you need to study. Uh, we, we can uh, use the word carry or not. Carry for? Yeah. In the three. Communicate? Yeah. Carry. Uh, um, carry, carry, not, not really. Uh, Communicate. No, I don't. It doesn't really come with the main carry. Yeah, uh, it's more about um, telling someone something. Communicate yeah, is yeah. more about telling someone. Okay. Uh, will someone like to read this on page eighty-eight? Can I? Majid. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, simple present for and for. Informal uh, narrative, narrative voice. Uh, narratives. Narratives. Uh, when you tell a short informa informal narrative, uh, like a personal story, you can use uh, the symbol present uh, even if the story happened in the past. Uh, this happened uh, to my sister. Uh, it happened. And Happened. Yeah, it looks like it looks like happened, yeah, but it's happened. Happened. This happened to my sister Anya. She is at home, and uh, she's uh, here. Uh, here, a uh, doorbell uh, ring. She ro rushes uh, to the door. Uh, a man asks uh, to speak with Anya. She says uh, that she is uh, Anya that he smiles and uh, tells here uh, she won a million million dollars a, a million, million yeah a million million dollars uh, in an online uh, contest at first anya feels really excited uh, but then she looks uh, at the man's str uh, strength smile and realizes uh, that she is uh, he is lying. She explains uh, that she did did not didn't enter an online con contest, and she asks uh, for the man's name. The man does not uh, reply. He just tur turns and uh, runs away. Run away. Run. Yeah. Runs away. Runs away. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Majid. Um, okay, so here we're looking at uh, an informal narrative. Okay, when you are narrating something, you're telling someone about an incident, something that something happened, you're, you're telling them about it, uh, and it's informal. You know, you, you, among friends, for example, you're talking among friends. Um, and uh, what they're telling us here is that you can use the simple present. Yeah, this normally what happens when, when I'm talking about something that's happened in the past, what will we use? Which tense? It did. We'll use did, yeah, we'll use the simple past. Yeah. yeah? So normally if something has happened in the past, yeah, I went to the supermarket, I bought milk, yeah, uh, I saw a cat. Yeah, everything will be in the past, uh, simple past. But when it comes to an informal narrative, yeah, you're, 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 told, you're telling a story. Yeah, you're, you're mentioning a story. Now this story, 
you want to make it seem like it's happening now. Okay? It's happened in the past, but so people can visualize it, people can see it, you use the symbol present yeah? as though it's happening now. Okay? You make it seem like it's happening. So in this story, uh, she is at home. Like you can, you can picture it. Now you can picture. She's at home, hears the doorbell, rushes to the door, asks, says, yeah, smiles and tells. She feels excited and she looks, uh, realizes, explains. Um, she asks for his name. He doesn't reply. He turns and runs. Yeah, so uh, it's it's like it's um for example it's like a, like a movie they you're watching now. Yeah, so even though it's something that's happened in the past, but the way that someone explaining it using the symbol present, it's like it's a video in front of you. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, is that clear? Yeah, so this is the, an exception. Normally, when you're talking about something in the past, we'll use the simple past. Yeah, except if it's a, a story, yeah, a narrative, a story and you want to make it seem like it's happening you want people to visualize it yeah is that clear yeah the, the, in yeah, the so story you the present simple. simple so the whole story is in present simple yeah she is yeah, yeah. she hears yeah rushes yeah, the whole thing is simple present simple you can you can do the whole story in the past yeah and it's still correct this happened to my sister she was at home she heard the doorbell she rushed to the door she asked the man, um, she said, uh, so, then he smiled He told uh, and told her. So the whole story can be put in the past. Yeah, you can make it simple past so and it's, it's still correct. In, if it's come in the exam, uh, it will be correct if I do it with past symbol or present symbol? Uh, if it's a narrative, if only if it's a narrative, yeah, only if it's like a story. But in the exam, in the exam, to be safe in the exam, stick to the simple past. Yeah, if something's happened in the past, stick to the past. Yeah, you want you can't be wrong. Yeah, in this in this case, for example, this happened to my sister. If if in the exam you said she was at home, it won't be incorrect. Yeah, the answer will be still correct. Okay. Yeah, is that clear? Yeah, clear. Uh, but when you're talking, yeah, just generally, when you if you're talking to someone and you want them to visualize, you want them to see what's happening, then you can use the simple present. Is that clear, everyone? Uh, yeah. That that yes didn't seem. Uh, um, uh, you didn't seem like you you're 100 percent sure. Yeah, you everyone understood it properly. Yeah. Yeah, it's clear. Yeah, okay. Yeah, clear. Okay, uh, let's go to activity. Complete these personal stories. Yeah, again, so it's stories, yeah? personal stories with the simple present form of the verbs. Okay, so it's simple. Now we know it's the personal story. Yeah, we will use the simple present. Uh, and how many stories do you have? Okay, two stories. In the first story, these are our verbs. Accept, arrive, ask, buy, get, invite, look, miss, open, reply, ring. Um, and remember with simple present, when we're using uh, he, she, or it, what do we do? Add S to the verb. Yeah, we add S. Yeah. So for he, she, and it, we'll add our S. Uh, and then if it's negative, Uh, does not doesn't does yeah so do will become yep. does yeah so don't yeah become doesn't uh okay go ahead yeah you can answer this and then we'll take the answer so answer um a and b yeah, uh, no sorry um one and two yeah answer one and two and then we take the answers as present symbol. As the present symbol, yes.
Um, okay, let's take some answers. Oh, let's take the answers. Uh, okay, Abdullah Abdulaziz. Uh, yes. Uh, about a week ago, I get. I think about, I get about a week ago, I. I get. I get. Hey, does everyone agree? Yeah, I agree. I disagree. Okay, what do you think is? Uh, I does I uh, doesn't mm -hmm. really. I what, sorry? I doesn't really. I, 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 I don't. Doesn't. I doesn't, I doesn't what? Really. What are you saying? I doesn't, I doesn't In, reply. Yeah, reply. About a week ago, oh. I doesn't reply a text message from my mother. Yeah. Um, reply, but reply has to have something after it. It has to have a preposition. Reply to. You don't just reply a text message. You reply to a text message. Okay, so it can't be the word reply. Um, okay, does everyone agree then? Everyone else agree? Get? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, get, get here means receive. I get a message. Means I receive a message. Uh, again, the, a word like this, get, you only use it because it's um, informal, because you're talking to someone. Yeah. Otherwise, you won't really use this informal writing. If you're writing, if you're writing formally, you'll say it like I'll receive. Yeah. I receive a text message. Uh, but because you're speaking to someone, yeah, maybe speaking to friends, you can say I get get a text message from my mother. Uh, uh, okay. She says yes. I think uh, about a week ago, I, I uh, get, oh, get. That's what we said, we just get. And it's okay, get. Well, what, what do you want to change it to? Uh, get. I'm not sure you think it. Maybe can you type it in the chat? Mm. Yeah, I get a text message from my mother. Um, she says, uh, Abdullah al -Dafiri. Abdullah? No, uh, Muhammad Munahi? What? Uh, number two? Okay, wait. Uh, text a message from my mother. She says she, uh, I think, missed me. Okay, she says she missed me. Yeah, everyone agree? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, and she? Uh, Eid? Uh, in, uh, benefit. Uh, invite. 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 Okay, and she invite me? Yeah? Everyone agrees, yeah? And she invited me to her home for dinner. Uh, we should put it twice. Yes. No, no. She oh, invites. Just, uh, yeah, invites. Okay, so she she say she says she miss me, and she invites me to her home for dinner. Uh, okay, next one. Rakan, I. Uh, I answer uh, number five. Okay, number five, go ahead. Oh, one second, one second. Majid, do you have number four? Uh, I think reply. Reply, okay. I reply. Good, I reply. Okay, uh, Rakan, go ahead. And accept. And accept her invitation. Um, so Friday night, yeah, everyone agrees, yeah? I reply to, to the message and accept the invitation. So Friday night, I, uh, Abdullah Abdulaziz. Uh, uh, I buy flowers to give to my mother. Buy, yeah. Yeah, I buy flowers. Yeah. Give to my mother. 
Uh, okay, Abdullah Zafiri, you there? I don't have the. You don't have? Okay, uh, Muhammad Manahi? Uh, where? Uh, number seven. So Friday night, I buy flowers to give to my mother. Yeah, I uh, arrive at her home on time. Why is there no I already there? I don't Have know you got I in your book? Yeah, yeah. In, in my book, uh, there's I. No, it says I. I arrive uh, at her home on time. Okay, everyone agrees, yeah? I arrive home on time. Yeah. And I eat. I eat at uh, eight. Uh, in the, uh, you don't you don't have answer for eight yeah um rakan you have answer for eight uh, and i uh, ring i ring the doorbell okay my mother Aid, do you have answer for this no majid uh, my mother opened the door. My mother opened the door. Yeah, everyone. My mother opened the door. Uh, Muhammad Rawili. Uh, she look look at me. She look at me with a very confused expression. Okay, Murad, the last one. Uh, ask. She ask. She asked, why are you here? Yeah, everyone agrees, yes? About a week ago, I get a text message from my mother. She says she missed me and she invites me to her home for dinner. I reply to the message and accept her invitation. So Friday night, I buy flowers uh, to give to my mother. I arrive at her home on time. And I ring the doorbell. My mother opened the door. She looked at me with a very confused expression. She asked, why are you here? Uh, I am happy to see you, but our dinner plan is tomorrow night. I think that the 11 uh, plus uh, is... S. Where? 11. 11? Add S. S asks. Is that the only place? Anywhere else? Uh, also, look. Okay, for the Maybe first not. one, I get. Do we need to add S for get? I Maybe get or is I get? No, no. I get. Uh, I, I get. I get. No S there because I. Yeah, I get. What yeah, about yeah. Miss? She miss. Is Mrs. that correct? Mrs. No, I, yes. yes. She, yeah, but I told you uh, we need to add S before. Oh, did you say you need to add S? Oh, another yeah. S. Uh, like this? No, no, E. e no, no. E S, yeah, E and S, Mrs. E S. Um, okay, invite, yeah, we said invites, good. I reply, yeah, or is it replies? Reply. No, no, reply because I reply. Okay. Yeah. And accept, yeah, accept. There was it accepts. Yeah. Accepted. Which one? With S. With S. S. Yeah, yes. everyone agrees. Oh, yeah. And accepts yeah. an invitation. Uh, no, no, no. Oh. Ed, not this. Huh? Ed, accepted. Remember, we said okay. You can use ed for no, everything. Uh, you can use ed for everything, but we're not doing this. We're doing simple present. Yeah, it's correct. If you said I got and I mi she missed, she invited, I replied, I accepted. It's all correct, but we want to use it as a personal story. Yeah, to make it seem like it's now. So no ED. We're not using ED. Yeah, so is it S or no S? Uh, no S, no S. Oh, yes. No S. Because it's going back to I, yeah? Yes. I relate to, to the message and uh, accept. Accident, yeah? So it's like saying I reply to the message and I and accept. I accept, yes. And I accept, good. Uh, so no, no S. So Friday night, I buy, yeah, buy or buys? Buy. 
Bye. 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 No, so I arrive. Yeah. Okay. And I ring or rings. Ring. 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 No. My mother open or opens. Open. Uh, open. 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 Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why? Because mother is what? She. Is she. 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 Yeah, we can say it's either she is a single, or we can say okay, we can replace it with she. She. Mm. Yeah, we can replace my mother with she, so it becomes opens. She looks, 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 at looks. Me. she asks. Okay, so these are the answers. Get Mrs. invites reply, except by I arrive, or just to arrive. Uh, ring opens, looks, asks. Okay, do we have answers for the next one? Uh, Abdul Abdul Aziz? Uh, actually, I didn't uh, do did anyone answer number two? Uh, yeah, me. Okay, go ahead, Mohammed. What did you get for number, the first one? I, I decide to travel. Okay, I decide. Yeah, so again, remember, this whole paragraph is something in the past. It happened in the past. So you can use the past. Yeah, there's no problem. You can use ED, everything ED. But we don't want to do this. We want to make it seem like it's present. Yeah, we are narrating in the present. Okay, so I decide. Okay, the next one, uh, Rakan. Okay, Abdullah, Abdullah Blaziz, if you have, try to think of an answer now. Yeah, maybe you can answer. Uh, Rakan, do you have anything? Number two, uh, uh, tell, tell my boss. I, I tell my boss. I tell my uh, boss. The dates and uh, Abdullah, Abdurrahman. Abdullah Abdul Abdurrahman? No, Mohammed Rueli? I think, uh, Doctor, ask. Ask if I can. And ask yeah. uh, if I can take a vacation at that time. He, Abdullah Abdulaziz. Maybe he, he say, he say he's not. He, he say? Yeah. No, no. What, what, do we, what do we need to add? With S. With S. Yeah, he says. Yeah, yeah. He says. Okay. It's no problem. I, uh, Muhammad Munahi. Muhammad, where is he gone? Uh, Rakan, do you have anything? Number five. Uh, can you answer uh, number uh, number six? Which one? You want to answer number six? Okay, let's do number five. Uh, Abdullah Blaziz, you have number five? Uh, yeah, maybe make. I make my plan. To... I make my. This is a plan or plane? A plan, plan. Plane. So did he make the plane ticket? What doesn't mean plan? I think send. Plane. Plane is short for aeroplane. Yeah. Yeah. Plane is short for, yeah, you know, aeroplane. Yeah. Or in America, they call it airplane. I don't understand. In America, yeah, they call yeah. it airplane. In, in Britain, we call it aeroplane. Yeah. So plane is short for aeroplane. Uh, so I what? Can't be make. Can't make the, the ticket. Muhammad, yeah, Muhammad Rueli. Maybe you buy? I buy, yeah. You can't make oh, it, so you buy it. Yeah. Yeah, the ticket, the ticket. He, he, he buys the ticket. I, bu I buy the ticket. Um, yes, Abdullah, um, Rakan, number six. Uh, I uh, change. Change my uh, hotel. Yeah, I changed. Uh, I change my hotel reservation. It's changes. Change it. Why changes? Change. We have I. I. Yeah. We have I. Okay. 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 Change. Yes. There's yes. no change without S. Yeah. No. Yeah, remember, we use no S. We only use S with he or she 
or eight. Yeah, or anything that this can replace. Yeah, so for example, we are talking about uh, rakan. We're talking about rakan. Rakan is the same as he. Yeah, or she. We're talking about uh, I don't know. Let's say Amina. We're talking about Amina. Maybe mother, like yeah, last. Uh, yeah, or it. We're talking about uh, I don't know Riyadh. Yeah, the the, the city Riyadh. Yeah, then we can replace. Oh, so we can replace this rakan with he. Or you can replace Amina with she. You can replace the Riyadh with it. Then we'll use the S. Otherwise, we'll, there's no S. Yeah, I change. Is this correct though? I change my hotel reservation. No, I think the meaning I... is correct, but the sentence is is not correct in 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 the in the I, paragraph. I think I make my hotel uh, reservation. I make. Yeah, I when you make a hotel reservation means you book. Yeah, to make a hotel reservation means you book the hotel reservation. Uh, Okay, Anas, number seven. Yes. Uh, I... Uh, I something online. Sound? I something online. Uh, you send online? I send online? Mm. What do we have left? Okay, ask, we've done, yes? Buy, we've done. Decide, we've done. Explain, no. Have, no. Make, we've done. Say, we've done. Okay, so which one is it? Is it until, change, until, explain, go, have, send? Until the time. Until we're we'll done. We'll done. Sorry? Until we're we'll done. We have done, we have done it. You've yeah, done the answers? We used it. No, we no, tell, it. tell. The oh, word, tell. Tell we've used it. Where? Oh, you guys tell as well. Okay. I tell my boss. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so what could this be? Muhammad Rueli? I explain. I explain online? I think. Or I go. Everyone else? Eid? I? I don't know. I think. Muhammad uh, Munahi? Mansoor? Yeah. I think, I think go. Uh, go. I go. Go. Yeah, you go online. Yeah, you go online to research uh, to research the best sites, and then about a week before the trip, everything. Doctor, explain. It mean استكشاف. Explain. Sharh. Uh, like yeah, sharh. Like, sharh. Uh, to tell someone. Explain is to uh, to tell someone something. The reason oh, yeah. Okay, so everything what? Uh, okay, you know, let's let's stop it here, yeah. And you try to think of the answers. Yeah, try to think of the answers, and we'll take it tomorrow. Then okay. we'll take the rest of this tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, see you all tomorrow, inshallah. Thank you, doctor. Yeah. Thank you, doctor. Come